What's up, guys? I'm going to do a review on the SB7 Spirit Box without the antenna. If you guys saw my last video, I showed you guys how to do it. If you guys think it was worth it or not, please let me know in the comments. And if you can, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. If there's anyone here with me, can you say something, please? My name is AJ. Whoever's here with me, can you tell me your name, please? How many spirits are here with us right now? Are you a good spirit or a bad spirit? Do you like that your cemetery is in the middle of an airport? If you're here with me, can you tell me your name, please? Or, I'm sorry, can you tell me my name? What is my name? Is there, are there any demons that live here? All right, guys, I'm torn on this one. If we go back to the spirit box basics, in theory, the spirits are supposed to be able to manipulate the words that they want to give you, right? So when you take away the antenna, it actually makes it harder for them to communicate. And I have taken this on investigations, and I noticed that the, without the antenna, the communication was actually much less. But now, in the end, all that matters is your credibility. So your evidence will be much more credible without the antenna. And for that reason, I'm going to say, go ahead and remove the antenna. And again, guys, please remember, anytime you use a spirit box, you're always going to get radio bleep. There's nothing you can do about it. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments.